Uh-huh. Hi, how are you guys? Oh my God, they will be only guys. That's amazing. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How you doing? Hamilcar, you said hello to everybody. Hey, where have you been? Sorry. Good evening. Good evening. I so have something to tell you guys, and it is that I moved last Thursday, and that's why I couldn't attend the class because I was busy moving my stuff and now I'm in another place. Thanks, thank goodness for that. Hey, that's amazing. Really? Is it uh, why you decide to move? Because I told up my sister. <laughs> mm. So you're with your sister right now? Or Excuse me? Are you with your sister or you're alone? Now I'm alone. Oh my goodness, single man. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. Well, that's yeah, nice. it's, it's uh -huh. a nice place and it's it's closer to my work, to my job, and uh -huh. that's good. Oh, that's why. Nice. So it's it's much better actually, right? Yeah, it's much better. You don't know how. And you look great today. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, actually, you always look great, but but now. <laughs> really? Okay. What? Well, maybe because I took a, a shower. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the reason, right? Excuse me. Where are you living? Uh, Who, me live... or, or or Luis? Uh, Luis. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I live in San Miguel. Where do you oh. live? Uh, I asked you because uh, in Santa Ana it was raining today. Really? Yes. Oh. Well, not Can here. Can you say that? <laughs> yeah, here in Metapan, it wasn't right. It's really hot, right? Yeah. Ugh. By the way, I finished my training at two and a half. Oof. And it was really hot. Oh, my God. I'm sorry to hear that. But was it good? Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit tired. But everything is OK. I was learning a uh, code. Uh, because every city has a cult and yes, it's a little bit course. complicated to learn that. Now you will get used to it. Yeah, I, I have I, to learn it, but it's a, I don't know how to say this. It's a, what? Uh, let me see. I have the, the real name. I would yeah. like to mention, I would like to mention something about the video of, about uh, the amazing world of apps. Mm hmm when we talk about a uh, year like 2010 or 2008, mm -hmm. is it necessary, is it strictly necessary to say N8, N10, or can we just say 2010, 2008? Yeah, you can also say it's, it's not necessary to say end. no. All right. So when yeah. we are talking uh, years before, 2000, I, I, I noticed that uh, most people don't say, for example, um, the whole number. They just say 1991, 1992, and so on. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say that that usually in, in, in years, we use two numbers, yeah, two digit numbers, 1920, 1925. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. it's not that way. Uh, in, years after 2000, right? After 2000 is different, yes. Okay, thanks. You want to look at, oh my God, I thought it would be only boys and me, <laughs> but no, you know what? Carito arrived also. Carito, oh. how are you, girl? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. I'm so happy. Marito, please don't be like that. I'm going, I already have my dinner, but um, you're gonna make me feel hungry again. You know what? <laughs> I gotta lose weight, so no way. <laughs> hey, uh, enjoy it. But I drink a lot of water. A I lot of water? A lot of water. That's cool. Here's my huge one. My one is bigger than yours. And this one is for Transformers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Transformers. Yeah, exactly. I like that. I that love is drinking water. Me too. It's really healthy. 
Yeah, it's healthy. And it helps you with your skin as well. Yeah. Yes, you are right. Hey, so let me ask you guys, besides Luis, that Luis said that he wasn't here last um, Friday because he moved to a new house. It was a new house, right? Or Thursday. Apartment. We, on Thursday. We don't have lessons. We don't on have Friday. lessons on Fridays. <laughs> well, you know what? Because there are some classes that we have Fridays, so that's why I'm, sometimes I got confused. <laughs> yeah, but no, no you, know, you know, guys, yes, you're just Monday to Thursday. You're right about Not that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, what about you guys? What do you do on weekend? Anything special? Well, yesterday I went to play basketball in the morning. Uh -huh. Then I, I play basketball again in the afternoon, and I couldn't believe that I have that energy now. Yes. Yeah. You're talking about 40s, right? Do you still have an energy? <laughs> yeah, I'm 45. I'm 45, but I returned to the basketball coach uh -huh. uh, three months ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing basketball very often now. Oh, so that's amazing. Um, hmm? You see, you should be feel proud of yourself. Yeah. I, I am, I am. And you yeah. know what? What today today uh we we receive an invitation uh -huh. to practice um judo. And I went to the first class today. And how was it? Uh it was really tough, you know, uh because we have to learn a lot of uh, movements, number mm -hmm. one, and how to fall down. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It. Yeah. We did it together with my wife because uh, the thing is, my daughter, my daughter participates in competitions uh -huh. in judo, but now they don't have classes for children. Oh. They they said that they they want to start with adult people. Oh, that's so amazing. We, yeah, we went to the practice and we saw my daughter wanted to practice too. Uh -huh. it, was, it was really fun because I told her, Carolina, today you're going to watch us to uh, play your your favorite sport, sport. <laughs> and she was like oh no <laughs> uh, but we yeah. do that all the time <laughs> but hopefully nothing happens you don't you don't have like a sore muscle or something like that right tomorrow uh, i feel really good now but maybe no. <laughs> at 12 p.m today <laughs> yeah it will be, everything will be hard yes just tell me how you feel it tomorrow okay <laughs> but that's good. That's amazing. Yeah, don't you think, Amilcar? You see? Yeah. Of course, Marito is no younger than you, but he has a lot of energy. I think more than Amilcar, maybe. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, yeah. What about you, Amilcar? Besides your training, anything special that you did on uh, last weekend? Um, I think no. <laughs> Nothing? Um, no, on Saturday I had to wash my clothes, but Ooh, okay. I was really lazy. And uh -huh. I decided not to do it. <laughs> really? And yesterday I spent my the whole day in my bed. On your bed, laying on your yeah. bed, watching TV or doing what? Yeah. No, watching TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. Okay. <Yeah. laughs> Marito. And by the way, uh -huh. I was watching uh Grace Anatomy. Oh, okay. Uh, season 17. Mm -hmm. And it's really amazing. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine, Marito, this young man watching TV the whole Sunday? Oh my goodness. I, lo I love movies too. I watch uh, the, this new movie, The Snyder Cut of the Justice League. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. I spent four hours on Friday four watching hours. it. Four hours. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's what you do on your, uh, on your free time. That is one part of their leisure activities? That those are the advantages of being a teacher, you know, because yes. my classes, my <laughs> classes finish at 1 p.m. every day. Mm -hmm. So I start at, at 8 every morning and I finish at 1 p.m. That's amazing. And then I have the whole afternoon. Just for you? Just for me. And I plan before this class, for example, I was planning uh, at seven, between mm -hmm. seven and eight, and that's it, everything ready for tomorrow. Oh my goodness, wow, that's really nice. I wish I could be also a, a teacher 24 seven, but I'm not, <laughs> but that's cool, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's listen, Mr. Hernandez. Hi, sir, how are you doing? How was your weekend? 
It was relaxing. I went to Suchi Toto on oh, Saturday. Really? So, yeah. It was so uh, I was so happy there because I remember when I was a little kid. And okay. I used, to, I used I used to spend time with my grandpa. So Oh, so you visit your grandpa? No, I remember oh. that. Oh, I used okay. to I used to pass to spend oh. time with him. So. Yeah. And I have a lot of years not to go. <laughs> really? Were well, your yeah. grandpa still alive? No. No? Oh. oh, but it was really nice memories, right? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's I love and, on, and Sunday I just sleep. Like a day. milker. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. John people, it's really nice what, what kind of leisure activities you have. That's yeah, amazing. and by the way, and by the way, I was watching a new movie. Uh -huh. It's uh, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Yeah, oh. it's a really good. It's a like Christian movie, but it's oh, really okay, okay. cool. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Well, that's nice. Yeah. You know what? Talking about that, thank you so much that you're letting me know that. Yeah, I will let you know what I'm asking you about what you did, etc., and also about your favorite <laughs> movies and all the stuff. It is because of a reason, right? I'm not just wasting time <laughs> but let me ask somebody else i need extra information let me check um alex what about you how was your weekend hello good evening good evening uh, was um not too not too busy not, mm -hmm. not kind of relaxed okay in, in the morning saturday if i i was um you know no, watching, some, watching some <laughs> watching some watching um, some videos uh, I, I started to read um, I started to read uh, uh, 100 solitude solitude really yeah. Yeah. Oh, Gabriel Garcia Marcus yeah yeah I love that guy mm -hmm. I got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, that's a big book a lot of words uh, a lot of different. Yes. Um, I'm so sorry, sorry how to say. Um, a little complicated. Uh, com it is complicated. a complicated. Little complicated. You know what? There, there is a book. It's basically, it it is how to understand his opopras. Because there are many common words that he uses, basically in all of his opopras, and at the same time, places that are really common. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I will try to search for that. Well, when I used to study in the UCA here in El Salvador. So I used to read basically almost all the books from him. And I found one little one that actually helps me to understand that he's also pauperous. But it was physically there. But I don't know if you can find it online. Even if you can go to the UCA, it's, it's there, definitely. Okay. If not, I will try to search for that information. I will try to send you the link. So then it will help you a lot. Hey guys, okay. so uh -huh. you're talking about uh, that you um, love to watch movies, right? <laughs> and in the case of Alex, I love to um, read about, um, in this case, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, which is the most amazing representative of the magic realistic here in Latin America, right? So basically, uh, okay guys, Today I'm going to catch that and take into like into whoops, into its introduction for today's topic because, guys, what do you think? What kind of verb tenses do you think that we really need to use in order for us to be a really good storytellers? Which ones do you think? Who oh, Marita's like present ah. perfect? And no. Simple present uh -huh. and. Uh, Pass, no, pass. Pass what? Pass, a simple pass. Simple pass, that's one of them. And the other one? Uh, pass that's continuous. Right. Yeah, and pass continuous. You're perfectly right. Very good. Exactly. To be a really good storyteller, we will need to use those both things. Pass continuous and simple pass. Now, what I want to know if that, uh, who can give me like an idea or if you, are, if you like remember something about when do we use the simple past? Any idea? Please, one of the time. Don't complicate it. One of the time. Yes, uh, only one. 
No, Marito, no. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, Marito, okay, go ahead. I think we use simple past when something happened in the past and it stays in the past. Mm -hmm. That's perfectly right. Can I have an example, please? Uh, I drove my car yesterday. No, well, that's cool. Yeah, that means that today, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Very good. Excellent. All but, right. Uh, what about, go ahead. I, I, I can give you one combination. Okay. One combination. I was driving my car when I had an accident. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Now that you mentioned that, this is really important because uh, you had an accident as a simple past, right? But what happened with the first uh, sentence that Marito mentioned, Alex, Louis, Carito? Past continues. Past continues, exactly. So when uh, do I use the past continuous? What for? What for? When you are describing someone that was happening in that time. Exactly, exactly. Something that was happening in, in the past, right? Yeah. And Marito used two things. He used the past continuous with a simple past. Basically, uh, we use both of them. And for example, the, present con the past continuous is used to, uh, to start describing something that was happening in the past. And you use a simple past to explain that while the first action was happening, another thing interrupt that action, okay? So basically we use in combination to talk about st storytellers, all righty? But don't worry about it. I will get into deeply that, okay? But very good example, Marito, excellent. Now I will send you something because um, this is going to be like, uh, like if you get into a magazine online, Sometimes, guys, you have like a lot of sections, right? Uh, sports, science, nature, etc. All right. So what I'm going to do right now first is I'm going to send it to you basically that little page. And after that, we're going to start practicing the listening part because I will try to like put three stories, three of them. And what I want you to do is to try to uh let me know in which category of the one that i sent you right now do you think that story can go okay so let me just a couple of minutes let me just a couple of minutes okay what i'm gonna send it to you right now will be the popular online news categories that's what i'm gonna send it to you right now so let me just a couple of minutes and as soon as you receive it just let me know all righty Bear with me for a couple of minutes, guys. There you go. I need to find you guys because, to be honest with you, I have a lot of people who just write to me. And uh, I've been writing to them as well. There you go. Okay. Oops. No. I will try to make another screenshot. Just bear with me for a couple of minutes, if you don't mind. There you go. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys, do you receive it? Yeah, or no? Yes. Okay, cool. So basically, guys, we have different categories, right? I think we do have uh, stories, top stories. And we have like a different uh, scenarios for top stories. What is the next category that we do have, Marito? The next category on the picture that I sent it to you, to the WhatsApp. I cannot hear you. Sorry, Marito. Okay, the, the categories are um, yeah, entertainment, entertainment. sports, mm -hmm. sports art travel opinions and opinion very good all right so you have the one two three four five six categories right so take a look at that okay have it in mind and now what i'm gonna do is to try to play right now the uh, audio about the three categories 
or three stories. And I want you guys to listen carefully about what is exactly they're talking about. So then uh, I want you to let me know in which section do you think that that story could be, All right? You can put it on. If you're like um, a journalist, right? Where you're going to put it in which category of the ones that I sent it to you. So are you guys ready? No. Okay. <laughs> are you guys ready? Yes. Ah, oh, come on. That was energy. We are ready. All we right. Are ready. That, that's the spirit of the energy. Come on. I know it is Monday morning. No, it's not Monday morning. It's Monday night, but come on, right? <laughs> All righty, guys. I'm Milker. I know that it was a really tough day for you. He was like, no, teacher, everything is fine. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Allow me just a couple of minutes, sir. There you go. Unit four. Can you listen, guys? Yeah? Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. What a story. Page 22, exercise two, perspectives. Surprise endings. Part A. Listen to the news stories. In which news category from exercise one do you think each story belongs? An attempted robbery took place at Eastern Bank today. A man was trying to rob the bank, but he wasn't very lucky. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. The police arrived and took the man to jail. It was a strange soccer match last night. The Bears won the game, but the Lions scored the winning goal for them. As Jake Walters was running toward the ball, he tripped and accidentally kicked it into the wrong goal. The score was Bears 1, Lions 0. An electrical problem at PAX Arena interrupted a Planets concert last night. The Planets were performing a new song when the lights went out, but the show went on. The Planets continued to play in the dark, and the lights came back on an hour later. All right. Was it easy? Uh-huh. No, right? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But, well, basically what you just heard, right? I know that you're not going to remember all because I'm not asking you to do that right now. Right now. <laughs> but according to what you heard, guys, in which category you should put the first one? The first one. Uh, top top story. story. Mm -hmm. Why? They we're talking about what? Words, politic, business, technology, about science. About Robert. A, a what? About health? I don't know. About news. Which World. one? World. World. Okay. We're talking about odd news. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so you think that we'll go to the stop stories? Okay. All right. What about the second one? The soccer match last night, I think. Sports. 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 Very good. And the last one? Word for me, word. Mm. What do you think? What is exactly that the situation? What happened in general, uh, guys? In general, it's talking about uh, the environment and uh -huh. problem with the world. Well, for me, this is a world, a world, uh -huh. uh, and could be a health because of news. I don't think so. Technology, of course, not business, <laughs> obviously, not politics. For uh -huh. me, this is a world. world. I'm sure that. The second one is the second one is uh, a sport, and the third one is the world. All and right, okay. That is, that is Mr. Kirby's opinion. What about you guys? Do you think like him, or you have a different opinion? Uh huh, Luis. <laughs> you were about to say something, <laughs> no? Uh huh, Alex, Marito. I was taking notes and I didn't I didn't pay pay attention in the last mm. one. That is mm. true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at least you're honest, which is good. <laughs> All righty. Paquito, I don't know, Carolina, what do you think, Caro? Good evening. Good evening, Paquito. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if no. I heard bad, but mm -hmm. uh, I remember that uh, he was talking about a 
concert. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. And, yeah. Uh -huh. And um, so the light, uh, I don't know. What happened with the lights? The yeah, light. you're right. You're right. Very the, good. The lights uh, turn off. Uh huh. But um, they keep playing in the dark. Uh -huh. So for me, for maybe you? could be for the art category. Oh, yeah. entertainment. Oh, entertainment. Or entertainment. Yeah, it could be both actually. Yeah, of course, depend on exactly what your point of view. But in this case, it will be entertainment. Yeah, you're right about that because they're talking about a concert, right? Are you sure about the concert? It was about a concert or was it about something else? Yeah, it was a concert. I think it was a concert, a concert right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And they said that uh, basically <laughs> the lights came back on an hour later, right? Yeah, the, the, the name of the, of the group, I think it was Planets. I think so. Yeah, you're right about that. Very good. Excellent. All righty. In this case, guys, if you notice, if you notice when they were talking about these uh, three um, situations, have you noticed, guys, that they were using simple past and past continuous? Because they were talking about something that I have appeared, right? For example, the concert. The concert was really nice, etc. But suddenly something happened with the lights, right? And interrupt that situation, okay? So I want you guys how you can um, use both tenses and uh, when you're talking about stories, right? For example, a milker, okay? A milker, after we search, after we study these two samples of th these two grammar tenses, I want you to use those to tell us about the new movie that you have just watched recently, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't worry, I'm Milker. I know that you're so excited about that. I know that for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, let me make a little bit of um, review. I know that you already know that. I know that for sure. But it's just really important to make a little bit of review about these two things, these two bird tenses and separate, and then how we can combine them. Okay. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now on my screen. Woo. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. And then don't worry, we're going to do a really entertainment exercises. All right. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Hey, Lenin, good afternoon. Good night, sorry. Carlita, Carito, Irina, yeah. Ooh and Kike, welcome. Welcome to the jungle, guys. Can you see my screen, guys? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's awesome. Yes. Thank you. All right. So I divided in two. I got the past simple and the past continuous. So this one, basically, guys, you already know that by heart, right? So I'm not going to like focus on that because I know that you already know. Well, here, guys, we have the affirmative, the negative, and the questions, right? The formula. We have that. Okay. But what I want you guys to focus on is what I think Marito said at the beginning of the class. A Marito, can you please be so kind to read it for me? When or why do we use the simple past? What for? A simple past, uh, we use simple past in actions completed at a, an a specific or a specific time in the past. Exactly. Finish action plus finish time. Exactly. Very good. And for keywords that we use in simple past, we have when, right? Yesterday last week we would like to talk about a specific year in 2009 etc all right and we do have an example and uh, 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 paquito could you please be so kind to read for me all the samples if you don't mind okay i play cards with them very good we went for we went for a walk last week mm -hmm. uh, she didn't come with me last night. Okay. My friend didn't understand the mistake. Mm -hmm. Did you like the match? Very good. Uh, excuse me. Did you like the match? Mm -hmm. Did the concert finish at 10? Very good. Excellent. All of them, guys, are something that happens in the past. Is that, is that right? Doesn't matter if it's yes. affirmative one, yes. negative one to the third one and the fourth one, or as a question with the last two. Okay, so this one is already known by heart. I know that. Okay, 
Now let's focus on the past continuous. Uh, we have the formula here. Uh, this one I have to remember because sometimes you got confused. So what's the formula, guys? We always use the subject and we're going to use the verb to be, okay? Never forget that, but in past. And of course not if we're talking about negative and the uh, ing form. Those are the rules to remember. That's it. Okay. Uh, 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 who can help me read it? Let me check if somebody's here. Okay. <laughs> Lenny, could you please be so kind to read it for me? Why or when do we use this past continuous? What for? Um, we use past continuous when actions in progress at the particular time in the past. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then we have a keywords, the same keywords that we have in, um, in simple past. Also, we have keywords in past continuous. Which one are they? Uh, can you please continue reading, uh, Luis? Hello, Luis. Luis. Mr. Luis. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. okay, can you please continue reading keywords for me? Keywords. Mm -hmm. We're in past continuous. Yes, but now. Can you see it, my screen? Yes, I can see you, but I cannot see the letters. Oh, why? What happened? Let me see. Maybe because of uh, resolution. Uh, okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And they use keywords when yesterday, when yesterday, last week. No, the, the below one, because the one that you're reading are, are the past continue, the past simple, but I need the past continue ones. Oh, excuse me. Actions okay. in progress at a particular time in the past. Okay, continue Keywords reading. Keywords, mm -hmm. while, as, at nine o'clock or any other time. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much, Luis. Can you please continue reading for me the examples? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, curving. Yes. Ah, okay. The examples, uh, yes. they, they were watching TV while I was studying music. Mm -hmm. She wasn't paying attention uh, where they listened to the radio as they were crossing the road. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent job. So we have here the example here, which of, in these sentences guys that you, that Mr. Kirby already like read, which is the past continuous, which ones? You see, we're watching, wasn't paying, were they listening, were crossing. Remember, guys, we use the subject, the verb to be in the past, could be positive or negative, and then the ing form of the verb. So let me ask you something right now. Is it clear? Yes, of course, right? You already know that yeah. by heart. You already know that. I just put that as I'm making a refresh because it's really important. Now, guys, let me show you something. I want you guys to have it in mind in which part of the time this past continuous and simple past together takes time, okay? So let me go back and share right now my screen with you. There you go, there you go, okay. And I want you guys to pay attention on this. I want you to know that because I want you to have it in your mind. If you're using these two advertences, uh, what is exactly you're going to talk about? That's really, really important. There you go. Okay. Okay, guys, you have that? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. So, all right, guys, you know that by heart, right? We have past, present, and future. That's good by heart. Okay. But if you're using past continuous and simple past, everything, guys, takes time or takes place here in the past, all of them, all of them. However, the, sim the past continuous is something that it starts in the past and it was continued in the while when suddenly something interrupted that action in the past. So here is what we're going to have the simple past. Are you with me? Yeah? Yes. Okay, let's double check an example here. The example that we have here. Okay, it says we were waiting for the bus, right? Comma, 
All right, so what happened? This action has already been started. We were waiting for the bus, let's say for 44, 42, whatever. So this, is, this action has already been started in the past, but there was another action that interrupted that. What was it? Well, when we saw a car accident. You see? So the first one, guys, this one, we were waiting for a bus. What is that? A simple pass or a pass continuous? Pass continuous. Pass continuous, exactly. And what action interrupted this one? The car accident, right? Yeah. Okay, so the second part of this idea when we saw a car accident, what is that? Simple pass or pass, or pass continuous? Simple pass. Simple pass. Simple pass. Simple pass. Exactly. So do you remember, guys, that with pass continuous, we use while, but when, we, when we're talking about simple pass, we use one of the keywords that is when, right? Never forget that. And also, guys, let me let you know something, because I think that some of you might ask me that question. Teacher, yes. And can I use um, the pass continuous first and then I can use the simple pass? Yes, you can do it. And can I use while? Yes. Do you remember the while is for pass continuous, right? And when is it for simple pass? So also you can use while. But if you're talking about while, you're not going to use it for simple pass. You're going to use it for past continuous. Mm. Can I have an example? Mm -hmm. Okay. While I was watching TV, <clears throat> my sister called me on the phone. You see? You got that? Kike? Yeah, teacher. Okay, cool. Marito. Teacher. Yes, Marito, yeah. go ahead. I, and we can reverse that term, yes, right? Yes, of course. Because we can say, uh, my teacher called me when I was... When, oh, no, while I was. No, no, while, while I was, while I was. Yes, you can do that. Uh -huh. You can do the opposite things. As long as you know that when is for simple past and while is for past continuous. Yes, you can use it either, you can put it in a different way. So that means that... A, the, the second action, Marito, when I was watching TV, that action is started already when you receive a cold, right? For somebody else. Is it good, guys? Okay. Um, yes, Lenin, go ahead. Uh, can you explain? No. Another <laughs> again, please. Yes, of course, Lenin, don't worry about that. Yeah, I'm gonna explain it to you really quickly. And let me check here. I will, well, I'm going to have an example here. All right, let me check. Let me give you another example here. Um, let me see if this one will be good. Okay. Okay, for example, um, let's pretend, Lenin, that I don't know if you came on time, but we were talking about that when we, when we want to tell a story about what something happens in the past, we're going to use two verb tenses. Which ones, guys? Which ones? Which verb tenses we're talking about? Past progressive and past tense. Past continuous, very good, and simple past. Very good. Past simple past. <laughs> exactly, very good. We are saying, thank you, Kike, that simple past is when we're talking about action that happens in the past and ends in the past, period, right? Like, for example, um, yeah, I fall asleep yesterday. That's like, okay, however, the past continues is when an action has already been started in the past. And we are going to use the simple past together with the past continues to talk about a whole story, to make guys a complex, complex ideas, all right? For example, um, I, I'm sorry, Lenin, that I'm going to use you an example, but I don't want to make you feel bad, okay? Go don't ahead. worry about that. That's an example, okay? Okay. Go ahead. The teacher was a study, it was uh, a studying the class when Lenin connected to it. Okay? 
Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, th that means that an action has already been started, which in this case is the English class, but you were not at the beginning of the class, uh, Lenin. You appear like 10 or 15 minutes later, for example. That means yes. that the second action interrupt the first one. I'm not telling you that you interrupt me. No way. No, no, no. I'm just telling you that there was already an action that started in the past when some, it was another action took, took place. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Guys, now it's time for you to practice. Don't fall asleep. Who's falling asleep, by the way? Who's falling asleep? Come on, come on. No way, no way, right? No way, Alex, you're already awake. <laughs> I got uh, one example. You got an example, okay, Marito, go ahead. Okay, the teacher received a phone call while we were taking the math exam. Uh-huh, very good, excellent. Wow, very good, very and good. We can, we can switch. Yes. Yes. While we were taking the exam, the teacher received a phone call. Exactly. Very good. That means that that, that the taking exam has already been started when the teacher received a, call, a phone call. That's really good. Excellent. Guys, now I want you to do a writing activity for me regarding this. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Guys, I'm going to send it to you three stories, but they're for three different stories. They're not the same. And what I'm gonna, what I want you to do is to use the past continuous or the simple past form of the verse. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. Let me just a couple of minutes. It will be three different stories. The one, the first one is a golden find. The other one is four legged customers, and the last one, rescue the ambulance. Teacher, why you're doing that? Yeah, you will see. You'll see, guys. Oh, that my finger appears there, so no way. <laughs> All righty, excellent. That's what I need. Okay, guys, do you receive it, please? Let me know, yeah? Yes. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to work in pairs. We are for, we're 13 without me. So let me double check right now if, if I can. Um, how many we are? 13, right? Hey, Marito, how many groups? Five groups of two and one of three. Yes, very good. That's what I had done. <laughs> very good okay guys so i'm going to assign it to you please accept the invitation and i want you guys to work together all right and then we're going to come back i will give you only three minutes no more than that Mr. Marito, I've sent the invitation, please. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's okay. Arena, send the invitation, please. There you go. Sergio, I'll send the invitation also, please. There you go. Sergio, you need to accept the invitation, please. Sergio, accept the invitation, please. You're working with Paquito. Sergio, 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 Sergio. Hey, Sergio. I'm gonna send it to. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move him. There you go. Renee, the third one. All right, do you know what you're gonna do guys? Yeah, everything's clear, like what's up? 
complete the complete the, the, the exactly history, right? yes okay. but only with the verbs that are in parentheses yeah 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 you can switch either um with past continuous or with simple pass okay? okay okay thank you two minutes and then i will let you know what else we're gonna do yeah that's enough thank cool. you cool we're filming hey do you know mm -hmm. what i'm gonna do yeah yeah completing this uh, the blank space yes uh only with the verbs okay. that are in parentheses either simple past continuous mm -hmm. or simple past i will give you two minutes and then i will mm -hmm. let you know what we are gonna do okay okay cool. we we got the, the the three the three story we completed the three yes the three of them one? yes the three of okay. them okay. Hey, alex come on okay, okay let's <laughs> go. One, only one. Let's go, no 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 <laughs> Very good. Uh -huh. In notice. Notice it. Uh -huh. yeah. Notice. Mm -hmm. Notice. It's crazy. One more minute. Now I will let you know what we're going to do. Please complete the three stories. Okay, perfect. Cool. Later, while, here's the while, the styling. Everything is okay? Any doubts? Yeah. Yes, teacher. That water. Okay. <laughs> Like a coffee. Yeah, like, 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 a, like a coffee. Like tamarindo. <laughs> Come on. Shame on you. <laughs> like mango. Don't be like that, Paquito. <laughs> yeah, I want a mango. <laughs> well, me too. Okay, guys, complete the three stories. Okay. Okay. Uh, one good. more minute and then we come back together. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Okay. So, so the demons were right, filming, sorry. right? So what happened to you? Sergio, hi. Sergio, hi, hi. I think I'm gonna move you, Sergito. Where are you? Let me check. No, Sergio's not. Yes. Sergio is with me, but I'm gonna move you. Hello, Sergio. miss. Yeah, I move you. I was asking you and you were not there. So I gotta move your partner, but don't worry. I'm gonna move you right now, okay? Okay. So I'm going to set you, accept the invitation, please. There you go. <sighs> finish. Yeah, it's open. Um... Finish or not finish? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Almost. The three stories, right? The three of them. Yes. Okay. Are you in the last one right now or no? Yeah, we already finished. So, what well, you said, almost. Because, I don't know. Because I don't know, Kirby, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We are not, we are not a sure, uh, sure guys. We're, uh, of course, but you should be. Okay, let's return together, okay? Okay, Lewis is here. Amilcar, very good. Lenin, yep, cool. All righty, very good. Curving, I love that kitty looking for a Wi Fi. There you go. Okay. Okay, we're waiting for the rest. How was the exercises? Was it easy? Yeah? A little bit. A little sometimes, bit. sometimes it's confusing. Sometimes, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You got to just to like read the whole idea and the whole sentence. So you can double check where I need to use first simple pass or pass continuous. All righty. Hey, what happened with the rest? Come back. Come back, guys. There you go. Oh, okay. Hopefully we can wait for the rest of them. Uh, you don't know what I'm going to ask you guys. <laughs> you don't have any idea what am I going to ask you right now? Uh, okay oh my god everybody okay finally with a smile mr alex <laughs> yeah, i'm happy <laughs> you're happy because you finished no, no. what <laughs> we no? don't finish the third exercise ah uh, okay don't worry well, don't worry yes i'm worried <laughs> don't worry Kike. all right guys so let's double check it together okay a golden find uh okay who start reading? Uh, thank you so much, Marito. Read for me. Please. Okay, okay. Um, while the drivers. The drivers were... or the divers? 
Uh, sorry, the divers. Okay. <laughs> While the divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth two million. Mm -hmm. The divers were filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. Very good. Are you agree with him, guys? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. All right. Excellent job. Carito, second one, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi. Okay, go okay. ahead. One windy day, a woman was walking her pet poodles down the street. A, hair, a hairstylist saw the dog through a window and noticed its crazy hair. <laughs> Later, while the stylist was creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats, he came up with a new slogan. Even animals have bad hair days. All right. <laughs> Are you good with her? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to say, yeah, yeah. of course. Yes, yeah, Luis. Oh, Kike. Okay. All right. Everything is okay? Okay. The last one. Paquito, yeah. what you have for me? The last story. Okay, we haven't finished, but I can. Yeah, of course, we you can do your finished, best. Can... Of course, my. Sure. Go ahead. Okay, let me read this. All right, cool. An ambulance driver. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, an ambulance driver had breakfast in a in a coffee shop when a woman. Okay, an ambulance driver uh -huh. was having very good when a, when a woman hopped into his ambulance and drove away. Uh -huh. The driver. Uh, <laughs> Grab his cell phone. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And alert the police. Alerted the police. Uh huh. The the car. Yeah, the car yaker. Mm -hmm. Went over ninety miles an hour. When the highway patrol finally. Mm -hmm. Catch up with her. Very good. The last one, it's okay, but but the sentence about the the carjacker, are you sure it's past or past continuous? Past continuous. Okay. What's so, going over? Yeah, uh, very jacker. good. What's going over? Yeah. Excellent job. Guys, do you have the same of uh, uh, as Mr. Paquito? Yeah or no? Yes? Okay. Now, guys, do me a favor. I will give you two minutes. I have another example. T-shirt. Who's that T-shirt? Who said that? Luisito. Yes. Okay, Luisito, go ahead. Should, should we say, are you agree or do you agree? Are you agree? Do you agree? I Both? think it's, it's irregular. We don't say are, we never use are. We just use do. Do you agree? And the meaning that right, is teacher. Mm -hmm. That's right. You, you That's see, right. I, I, of course, you know, Marito is my right hand. You know. Okay. <laughs> I, I remember. I remember. No, I, I remember a long time ago when I made that mistake. Ooh, okay. Yay. Like fifteen years ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> I told you. I hard. I'm. Oh. How do you say that? Hard to learn. <laughs> uh, so I remember that there was a boy in my class who was studying a bilingual school. Mm -hmm. And he, when I said, I am agree, he was all the time laughing about me because uh, that was a mistake, you know? And that helped me to learn that I, <laughs> I needed to change that for I do agree or I don't agree or I disagree also. I disagree. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent job. So now, guys, what I want you to do, I will give you two minutes. Please read each story. Read it. Because after two minutes, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to pick either the first one, the second, or the third one. And I want you guys to tell me in your own words that story. I want you to retell me that story using the past continuous are, or the simple angry? past. What? What, Paquito? Are Paquita? you angry? No, I'm not. 
God, I'm Are happy. I'm happy. You're talking like you're upset. Really? <laughs> no, I'm not. I can't talk about it. No, I'm not. Are you I'm agree, Mr. Kang? Mr. Kang? <laughs> Are you uh, agree with me? I disagree with that. Z, <laughs> you're disagreeing. Uh, no I way. I know why, because both of you are the teachers in the class. Mm. That's right. So mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, guys. So <laughs> that is your, your uh, commitment today. Just read it again, the three stories. And please, I want you to tell me in your own words that story. Okay. Okay. Let me grab a, a, a pen so yeah. I can write it down. So, Luisito, please read the story, the three of them, but by your own. Okay. And then you're going to, tell, to read or tell me either or. All right. Do you understand, Luisito? Yes. Okay. What happened to you? He's 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 bad, right? He's sad right now. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> no, everything is okay. That's nice. That's fine, Luisito. <clears throat> or if you want to, guys, you can also tell us about a story of your own. Okay. But I want you guys to use the both tenses. So you can also tell us a story about your own. If you don't want to use that, that's okay. It's up to you. Finish. Okay, that's enough time. <gasps> okay, Amilcar, can you please be so kind to let me know what is it? <laughs> oh my God, they're like, what? <laughs> All right, okay, in your own words, what was the story number one talking about? Uh, the first story is talking about uh, a divers. Mm -hmm. um, they were working in a coast and while they were working in a coast, in the coast, uh, they found uh don't look at a uh, don't look look at me come on look at me <laughs> they found a big uh gift <laughs> oh, a big gift what was that gift uh they found a big uh cofre. ah don't look at it <laughs> i don't remember oh con no uh -huh. shipwreck the what shipwreck the shipwreck, uh-huh. Yeah, the shipwreck uh, contained a lot of money. A lot of money, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good, very good, excellent. I, I, I'm not telling you that tell me the whole story, but what the main idea in your own words. Excellent job, my man, very good. <laughs> Kirvin. Mr. Kirvin. Hello. Hello, can you please be so kind to let us know in your own words, what was the story number three talk about? The history mm. number three. Let me check. Let me check. Yes. And you're a lucky one because I cannot see you. I only can watch the little cat looking for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty looking. Uh-huh, so, yes, uh, of course. Uh-huh. Um, In your own words. Uh, my own words, yeah. Uh-huh. First, uh, there were an, uh, an ambulance. There, uh, there were an ambulance there was an ambulance? There was there was an ambulance. So okay, cool. In my own word, there were an ambulance. So uh -huh. Just kidding. <laughs> there <laughs> was an ambulance. Uh, and mm -hmm. and uh, the driver, uh, mm -hmm. it was it was uh, drinking drinking a coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then 
the driver um the driver uh, receiving a call the driver mm -hmm. received a call right the driver mm -hmm. received a call and well, that's a little tricky, right? Okay, yeah, I know, I know that. Don't worry. Is that all that you remember? That's okay. Okay, yeah, that's good. It. That's it. Okay, very. You lo you love that expression, right, guys? Okay, very good. <laughs> Carito, what about story number two? What you have for me? Okay, I had a personal story. Okay, cool. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, one day I was going to the bank, mm -hmm. uh, Agricola Bank, mm -hmm. when I saw in the street what uh, something that looks like a little rolled dollar. Uh -huh. But when I grabbed it, there were $175 rolled. What? No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I was so lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you imagine? It was not a dollar. It was like a, what, a hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yeah, one hundred seventy-five dollars. That's amazing. You can go to the Vidal salons and do something about that. Just <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's amazing. Lucky you. Isn't it amazing, guys? Woof. Lucky her, right? All righty, uh, uh, Mr. Hernandez. What about you? What you have for us? Okay, I got a personal story. Go ahead. Okay, one day I remember that I was sleeping on my bed and then my sister came back. No, my sister came to my bedroom mm -hmm. and she started and she woke me up. She so, wake you up, okay. So woke you up, yeah. okay. Uh-huh. And really? then, I... yeah. Uh -huh. And I was mad because I was dreaming about food. So a food. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> What kind of food? A pizza? I don't know. A burger? No, uh, just pizza and... Oh, no. And paposas. And you were about to do, like, the bite, right? When she yeah. woke you up. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that was up. Oh, and then I, I want to uh -huh. return to my dream, and I couldn't. So. You couldn't. Oh. And what, by any chance, what was the date? It was Saturday morning? No? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was really nice story, but it was really sad at the same time. Oh, yes. thank you. Thank you so much, Hernandez. That was cool. Uh, Irina, what about you, girl? What do you have for us? Uh, well, teacher, I have a personal story. Okay, go ahead. Uh, today in the morning, I was attending a customer when my boss called me. Really? And he asked, he, he asked me to help with some papers and, and uh -huh. then a co-worker asked me to help with the print machine. And I I, I almost in a in a in a that little moment mm -hmm. I I got crazy because got everything crazy. was was asking me for all the things. Mm -hmm. And the customer in front of me looking me at was looking me at like what happened? When are you going to attend me? Oh my god, I'm sorry. It was so, yeah, yeah. It A was little bit so embarrassed, embarrassed, right? Embarrassed, yeah. Uh, embarrassed for me. All right, that was but that and was that's awesome. it. That's it. That yeah. was really great, student, and really good use of combination. Okay, guys, I know time is over, you know. What? Time passed really fast, yes, Alex, and you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> All right, guys, for the ones that haven't participated right now, um, you can choose. Either pick one of the stories that we have just put it in practice or one of your own. And you're going to let us know tomorrow about that. And because tomorrow, guys, we're going to still practice, but we're going to emphasize on the pronunciation and intonation, which is really important to do that. And also, we're going to uh, emphasize in the listening part, especially, guys, to take details information about something. Yeah, that will help you a lot, Amilcar, that you cannot imagine. That will help you a lot, yeah. So, guys, please, tomorrow, have your a piece of paper and something to write because you are going to use it. Guys, so far, any questions, any doubts for these two versions that we have seen? 
or just easy peasy queasy? Not too easy, easy queasy, but oh come on, Irene. <laughs> no, like easy. Very good, Paquito, Amilcar, Mr. Hernandez, Carito, Sergio, Irene, okay. <laughs> eh, no comments. Come on, guys. <laughs> now everything is okay. Like water or like water? Like coffee. Like like okay. Oh, well, for like me, it's fine. Coffee. Like a white coffee. <laughs> okay, at least it's a white coffee. All no, righty, guys. I know, yeah. guys. <laughs> hey, guys, this is the last week. So we're Before going to like a uh, hand for vacation, Irene. Uh, lucky you, because I'm not going to have vacations. <laughs> really, teacher? Yes, I don't have vacations. At oh, least no Salvadorian's vacations. Why not? Because I do not work for him, for them. I work for the States, so. Oh. I don't have it. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to have here like giving classes but but for my other job no way okay. well, then so, you are going habit. you are going to rest from us but not for the job i'm not i don't say it like that i, I will miss <laughs> you guys a lot come on tell us the truth teacher tell us the truth no you know what uh, every time that i'm here with you i'm happy yeah, thank you, teacher. I'm happy. Not only because you show your Me commitment, too. but at the same time, is because you're alive. I don't think so. And you're willing to learn. <laughs> yes, Kike. Kike, this is the second time that you've been with me. Uh huh. Yes, I mean it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Yes, Paquito. I was wondering what kind of job do you have? That's a good idea. Because you say you're not. You're, you're not working here in El Salvador, so that sounds very interesting for me. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I I work, I, I'm here physically. I am here physically, mm -hmm. Paquito, but uh, I do have a different kind of job. Uh, what kind of job? When, may I know? <laughs> no, because it's time for me to go to a different class. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, okay. you tomorrow, 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 okay? <laughs> okay, guys, hugs and kisses. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.